Good morning. Let us discuss about biodiversity at the global level. Global level means international world. Our earth is the natural habitat for about 20 million species of living beings and microorganisms. Our earth is natural place, natural habitat for about 20 million species of living beings and microorganisms. Of these, only 1.7 million organisms alone have been described scientifically. Around 20 million species are there in the earth. But among these, 1.7 million organisms only been described by scientists. Developing countries are rich in biodiversity. The world's rich biodiversity nations are in southern parts of the globe. So, most of the biodiversity varieties can be seen in the southern part of the world. The biodiversity of Brazil, Malaysia, Indonesia are richer than India. Among plants, flowering plants are more. So, Brazil we have several times we heard Amazon forest. So, Brazil, Malaysia, Indonesia are more richer than India. Among plants, flowering plants are more. Then biodiversity at a national level. India is a tropical country that we have already studied. Then it covers a total of 32 million hectares, our Indian area. Land area covers total of 32 million hectares. It is one of the 12 mega diversity centers of the world. Among the 12 large diversity area of the world, India have also one position. India has only 2.4 percentage of the world's land area but its biodiversity is 11 percentage of the world. Our, when comparing to the world area, India have only 2.4 percentage of the land area in the world but we have 11 percentage of the biodiversity Diversity can be seen among the world. India is very rich in plant diversity. Variety, bacteria, virus, algae, fauna, flora. India's climate is fauna means plants like flora means water species, water bodies. India's climate is very good for richness in biodiversity. Different seasons are there in India. So, Climate is very good for the richness of the biodiversity. Himalaya, Western Girls, variety of plants available in the Himalaya, Western Girls. The Western Girls including Kerala, Tamil Nadu, then Goa, Maharashtra, like the place. The right Karnataka, variety of plants also available in Western Girls. India is one of the mega diversity nations of the world. Then biodiversity at a local level. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu possesses tropical climate. It has several, sometimes hot season, sometimes rainy. It has several hill states like Tirunelveli, Nilgiri, Palani, Anamale, etc. Several hills are in the Tamil Nadu. For example, Tirunelveli. Nilagiri, Palani, Anamali, etc. Tamil Nadu has humid, tropical, dry, semi-dry climate. Then, biodiversity of Tamil Nadu is poorly illustrated one. The accounts of species were not identified. In the Tamil Nadu, what are the different species are available? Is not studied yet. It is not scientifically studied. Different species are there in Tamil Nadu, but Nobody is identified them. Many types of plants and animals are available in the state.
then hot spot of biodiversity hot spots are means bio rich area hot spots are bio rich area the geographical area which is rich in plant more plants and animal species are there endangered endangered means rare species the term hot spot was coined by firstly it is used by coined by norman meyer norman meyer coined this term hot spot of in the biodiversity in 1988 the hot spot of biodiversity has some features plant diversity about 1500 endemic plant species under threat at present 34 hot spot in the world the world 34 hot spot area for biodiversity among this india has four biodiversity hot spot area that is himalaya indo burma adi from madagascar and the indian ocean island western ghats and sri lanka the four hot spot in india is himalaya indo burma madagascar indian ocean island western ghat and sri lanka first one himalaya second hima indo burma third madagascar and indian ocean island fourth western ghats and sri lanka these are the four hot spot area among this hot spot area indian species are now disappearing without taking much care some of the plants were not exist in this time western ghat as the hot spot the range lies in various state of india maharashtra goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu sri lanka among these states western ghats are existing total area is 170000 square kilometer total area of the western ghats is 170000 square kilometer here heavy rainfall on western side but less rainfall in the eastern side due to this kerala is getting more rain but in other side rain is very less western side ever green rain forest in vayanadu palakkad silent valley or some part of this forest then eastern only deciduous forest we have already understood what are the features of evergreen forest and deciduous forest so in the western part of the western ghat is evergreen forest then the eastern part of the western ghat is the deciduous forest richness in biodiversity western ghat is more plants and animals are there 12 species of mammals 13 species of birds 108 fishes 88 amphibian etc mammals means like uh, monkey such like animals different twelve species are there then 13 variety of species in birds 108 variety of fishes then 88 different types of amphibian like crocodile turtles likewise so it is a very richness in the case of biodiversity then threats to biodiversity problems challenges the causes of biodiversity loss are said to threats to biodiversity the problems creating to biodiversity reduction is called threats as the nature of threat increases more and more species are forced towards extinct if nature create any problem so so many species will extinct extinct means disappear from the world then biodiversity loss is caused by 
loss of habitat when we are cutting trees when we are destructive forest surely their habitat will loss then poaching poaching and hunting of wild animals poaching and hunting we already studied what are the impacts of poaching also studied killing of animals then conflict between man and wild animals man always trying to exploit the natural resource and forest thereby our wild life affects so much then habitat loss the destruction of habitat of plants and animals is called habitat loss destruction of habitat of plants and animals the habitual the living area the destruction of living area of plants and animals is called habitat loss when the habitat is destroyed the species living there in the are under threat of extinction when if we are cut in trees their living area surely it will destruct then factors causing habitat loss are deforestation quarrying felling of trees construction of dam forest fire destruction of wetland over exploitation of plants etc the major reasons of habitat loss then poaching illegal killing of animals is the poaching poaching and hunting of wild animals are main reasons of main cause of the wildlife depletion causes of poaching are for to get flesh of wild animals is tasty wild animals meat is very tasty then chicken and beef so to get that flesh flesh means meat of rabbit deer then forest hen is very tasty so man is hunting these animals the animal parts and products sold in the market at a high price tusk of the elephant tusk means the bone of the horn of the elephant and the skin of tiger skin of the tiger and deer skin of deer and the tortoise have so much value in the market so from the trichy area every year illegal trading is taking place from the trishnapalli it is the custom department will holds these persons in several times because they are trying to illegal exporting of tortoise then to get drugs for drugs peacock oil fish oil or medicine so to get them we are simply killing that animals then catching fish pgn pgn means prow then crocodile then whale shark whale is the biggest animal in the world and ocean also shark dolphin are threatened by deep sea fishing so due to human activity only these animals are suffering lot then conflict between man and wild life the struggle and fight between man and wild animals constitute man wild life conflict man is afraid of wild animals wild animals are also afraid of man so forest is the home of the animals don't disturb them if you are going to forest man is always trying to disturb them actually that area is their own houses man exploit the forest when they disturbed in their area they will destroy properties of the man if any animals attack by man surely that will re attack to against man that is the problem only man, actually problems are creating man only then remedial measures to conflict use solar power fence along the border of forest along the border territories of the forest we should keep a solar power fence fence means wall solar power wall then provide vehicles binocular for wildlife warden for the forest warden which 
government should give vehicles and binocular, good binocular to watch the animals. Then they have no any problem. And sufficient water facility should provide for wild animal. The authority should ensure about the sufficient water facility for wild animal. Then change cropping area from forest. Nowadays, Forest area is also utilizing to cultivation. It is not a good behavior. Then, endangered species of India. The species of plants and animals facing the problem of extinction and becoming lesser in number are called endangered species. The species of plants and animals facing the problem of extinction and becoming lesser in number are called endangered species. They are reducing from the world in economic endemic species. The number is reduced to critical level. The reasons of the causes of the endangered species are habitat loss that we have already discussed in the former case also. Felling of trees, deforestation, poaching, pollution, climate change, export to other countries. We are exploiting these animals, trying to get more foreign currency by exporting these animals. The western guts is the natural and only habitat for lion-tailed monkey. Lion-tailed monkey is only seen in the western gut. Once this was seen in the large number, this lion-tailed monkey, Simhawala Korang, is more in number before 20 years in the western guard. But now its number is reducing. Now it is an endangered species in the western guard. Now number of lion-tailed monkeys are reduced very much. Then other species, endangered species are Indian fox, jungle cat, one horned rhinoceros. One horn means only one horn. Then Assam rabbit, Nilagiri langur, wild dog, Nicobar pigeon. It is only seen in the Nicob and the Nicobar. Hooded crane, eagle, astorin, crocodile. Astorin crocodile means that they are living in the meeting place of the river with the sea. Then star turtle. These star turtles are mostly exporting from Trichy to European countries. Then India salamander. These are the major animals of the endangered species. Okay. Today we discussed threats to biodiversity, hotspots and uh, reasons of the hotspot and endangered species. Okay, thank you.